Hello, welcome to the American Backpacker. Today I'm going to be talking to you about land navigation, a topic that I enjoy discussing. And there's a lot of videos I have here on my YouTube channel on land navigation that you can check out. But I'm going to be talking to you today about the Sunto MC 2G Compass, the compass that I use in the wilderness area, and how to utilize it to plot a bearing on a topographical map. So you're in a wilderness area, and you know where you're at at a particular point, and you want to go from that point to another point. Well, if you don't have a protractor in the field to get a bearing, I'm going to show you how to utilize this compass to get that bearing on a topographical map. So stand by. So here you have the MC2G compass, and I have a portion of a topographical map. This map here is of the uh, Calameopsis Wilderness, the, around the Rogue River uh, in Oregon. So, I want to use this compass to find out a bearing between two points. Now on the map here, I went ahead and I have a starting point here. I have an ending point here. And I want to know what that bearing is from my starting point to this point, and I'm going to use the compass. Now the nice thing about this MC2G compass is that I can set the magnetic declination. And for all, all practical purposes, let's say that this compass is set for the magnetic declination uh, on this particular wilderness area. So when we're looking at this compass, and I know I went over uh, a video with the compass parts here, and you have the magnetic needle there, the orienting arrow, and you have these red lines here, these four lines that you see right there. Those are called meridian lines. And those meridian lines move when I move the bezel here. We want to get those lines, those meridian lines, lined up with the grid lines, get them parallel to the grid lines on this particular map. And once we get that set, then we'll be able to get a bearing from that point to the other point. So, again, this compass, uh, the bezel ring as it moves, it moves the meridian lines there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the straight edge here of this compass, and again, the compass is already set for magnetic declination, and we're going to put it on that line that I drew. Now bear with me because I'm doing this through a camera lens and it's a little awkward. So let's say it's there, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to rotate the, uh, the bezel ring here until these red lines here are parallel to these grid lines here. Again, as moving the ring, once we get those lines parallel and we get it set, we're going to go ahead and we're going to read what the degrees are here. Now, I usually just put an oriented map until I get the red in the shed there so the map is oriented. And then all we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to read what the degree marking is on the bezel. And we have 10 there, we have 20 there, and it's roughly about 16 degrees. So we know that from this point to that point, it's going to be a 16 degree azimuth or bearing. And again, the nice thing about this compass is that once we have it set for the magnetic declination, we don't have to convert anything over. Now, if you have a compass that you cannot set the magnetic declination on, you're going to have to do the conversion. So at this point, for me to get from the starting point to the ending point here, 16 degrees, set it on the compass, red in the shed, and I'm going to move out smartly. And that's how simple it is. Now, I did a video on using a protractor to do the same thing. But the compass is kind of a field expedient method if you don't have this in a particular field. Uh, and if the compass is set, it makes it a lot easier to get that uh, bearing. And that's how you use the Sunto MC2G compass to get a bearing or an azimuth. And there you have it, folks. How to use the Sunto MC2G compass and how to plot a bearing on a topographical map. A very quick and easy method, field expedient, for you to use to navigate from one point, a known point, to another. Now, if you have any comments or questions, post them here on my YouTube channel. Uh, land navigation and the topics that I discuss build upon one another. And if you want to see those lists or those topics that I've discussed, you can come here to my YouTube channel and go under the playlist land navigation, and you'll see them in there. I talk to you about the compass, um, 
magnetic declination, pace count, etc. There's a various topics, and each one build upon another. That's why I do these videos, and I try to keep them short. Uh, again, I enjoy teaching land navigation. It's a topic uh, that you need to know and understand, especially the basic skills when technology, which is your GPS, goes down in a wilderness area. My next video should be an overnight trip into Ocala. I'll probably be doing that in the next two to four weeks. Uh, the temperatures are cooling down here, so it should be a great trip. This is Andy. Thank you for watching.